A tiny giant in a changing world, the desktop computer world is moving faster than ever. Every year, people expect more from their devices. More power, more speed, more features. At the same time, our desks are shrinking. Okay. Our lives are getting more mobile. And our need for compact, efficient tech is only growing. That's where the Mac Mini has always stood out. Small, quiet, and powerful. It's the kind of machine you can set anywhere on a shelf, under a monitor, or even behind your TV and. It just works. But don't let its size fool you. Inside this tiny box lives some of Apple's best engineering. And now, in 2025, we're... On the edge of a major leap forward, the Apple M5 Mac Mini is coming. If the leaks and early information are true, this could be the biggest upgrade to the Mini in years. A new chip. New performance levels smarter features, and surprises that could change the way we think about compact desktops. Let's take a deep dive into where the Mac Mini started, what it is today, and what the future holds, the early days. An entry into the Mac world when Apple first introduced the Mac Mini. Its goal was clear, bring more people into the Mac ecosystem. Before the Mini, Apple computers were known for being expensive and high-end, but the Mini changed that. It was small, it was affordable, it didn't even come with a display or keyboard. That was by design. Apple wanted people to plug the Mini into their existing gear, their old monitors and USB keyboards and get started with Mac OS right away. Over time, the Mini evolved. It got faster, it got more powerful, but it never lost its purpose. It remained. Apple's most accessible desktop for students, for home users. For creatives on a budget, a favorite among professionals, something unexpected happened over the years. While Apple originally marketed the Mini as a basic Mac, professionals started using it for serious work. Why? Because it delivered. It had enough power for coding, enough storage for music production, enough speed for photo and video editing. Because it was so compact, it fit easily into studio setups and server racks. People began using Mac Minis as render nodes, as headless servers, as logic workstations. The Mini found a home in places even Apple didn't fully anticipate. This changed how. Apple approached the product. Design gets serious. The 2024 overhaul by 2024. Apple decided to give the Mac Mini a new look. A cleaner, sleeker, aluminum unibody that took cues from the Mac Studio this wasn't just about looks, it was functional too. The new body had better airflow, it was sturdier. Oh. And it helped keep the Mini cooler and quieter, even under load. Inside, Apple packed in the M4 chip a 10-core powerhouse that balanced performance and efficiency. Unified memory made the system faster and smoother. SSD storage gave it blazing speed. The Pro variant of the M4 Mini took things even further, more RAM more storage, stronger GPU. Suddenly, the Mini was bumping up against the performance of the much pricier Mac Studio people loved it. Reviewers praised it. And for many, it became the best value in Apple's entire Mac lineup. Why the Mac Mini works the reason the Mini is so popular is simple. It offers something rare. Flexibility? Need a desktop for school? The Mini is perfect. Want to edit videos? Or music? The Mini can handle it. Running a server? The Mini fits the job. Starting a small creative business? You can build your entire workstation around the Mini, all without breaking the bank. And because it's so small and efficient, it doesn't. Demand space or energy. You can tuck it away, and it just keeps working. Quietly, reliably. Powerfully now comes the next step. The M5 Mac Mini as we head into 2025. Apple is ready to raise the bar again. The M5 chip is coming. It's going to make a huge difference. M5. Chip. Built for the future, the M5 is Apple's next generation chip. It builds on everything they learned from the M1, M2, and M4 series. And while we haven't seen final specs yet, leaks and reports paint an exciting picture. Let's break it down. The base M5 will likely keep a 10-core CPU layout. But the architecture is smarter, more efficient. 
and optimized for modern workloads. This means apps will open faster, files will process quicker, tasks will feel smoother. From browsing the web to writing code to editing 4K video, everything will just work better. But Apple isn't stopping there. Graphics take a leap one. Of the biggest improvements could be the GPU. The M4 had a 10-core GPU, but the M5 might jump to 12 cores. It's maybe even more in the Pro variant. That means better performance for video editing motion graphics gaming 3D. Rendering creative professionals will feel the difference. A smoother playback. Faster exports. Real-time previews. Now these aren't just nice-to-haves. They're productivity boosters. M5 Pro. A mini that rivals giants. There are strong rumors that Apple will also launch an M5 Pro version. This could feature 12 core. CPU 18 to 20 core GPU, up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory, higher SSD capacity. Think about that. That's workstation level power in a box you can fit in your hand. This makes the mini a serious alternative to much bigger and more expensive machines. For many users, it will be all the computer they need. Unified memory, smooth and scalable. The Lapple's unified memory is one of their smartest moves. It allows the CPU and GPU to access the same memory pool. That means less duplication, less lag, and more speed. The base M5 mini could ship with 16 gigabytes of memory. That's enough for most users, but the M5 Pro could offer 24 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, or even 64 gigabytes. That's perfect for pros who edit video, run virtual machines, or handle large 3D projects. You get power. Without the overhead, storage finally gets better. If there's one area users have always wanted more, it's storage. The current base model has 256 gigabytes, but with file sizes growing, that's not enough anymore. Reports say the M5. Mini will start at 512 gigabytes, a welcome change. The Pro model could go from one terabyte up to four terabytes, ideal for video. Editors, developers with massive projects, creators with large media libraries, no more juggling. External drives, ports that work for everyone, the Mac. Mini has always been a port-friendly machine. While some Apple devices dropped ports, the Mini held on to them. And the M5 version will likely keep that trend. Expect colon Ethernet HDMI USB-A USB-C. Thunderbolt 4, maybe even new front-facing ports. These make it easy to plug in everything from monitors to audio gear to storage drives and for pro users. Thunderbolt means fast data and multi-display support, design that stays familiar but better the 2024 redesign was already a hit. Apple probably won't change much. Expect the same aluminum body, clean lines, small footprint. But they may tweak the airflow again. To make the machine run even cooler and quieter, the Mini doesn't need to look flashy. It needs to perform. And that's exactly what Apple is optimizing for. Mac OS 15 or 16. Smarter software for smarter. Hardware their M5 Mini will launch with a new version of Mac OS. It's likely Mac OS 15 or even 16. These updates will focus heavily on AI and automation. Next. Means smarter. App launching window management task. Switching Apple wants your Mac to understand what you need before you ask. For developers, tools like Xcode will get AI features. For creatives, Final Cut and Logic will be faster, smoother, and more powerful. It's all designed to make the most of the M5 chip, release date and price. What to expect based on leaks. Apple could announce the M5 Mac Mini in late 2025, maybe October. Maybe November. If not, look for a Q12026 launch alongside other Macs. Prices will probably stay steady base. M5, $599 million, 5 Pro, starting around $1,399. Fully loaded models could go past $2,000, but for what you get, that's still great value. Who is? The M5 Mac Mini 4? Short answer? S almost everyone. Students, developers, designers, editors, casual users, s small businesses, the Mac Mini is small. It's powerful. And it's ready for the future. 
should you wait or buy now. If you need a computer today, the M4 Mac Mini is still a great choice, especially if you find it discounted. But if you can wait a few more months, the M5 will be worth it. More speed, more storage, more features, more value. Conclusion, a giant. Leap for a small machine, the Mac Mini has come a long way. From a simple entry-level desktop to a creative powerhouse with the M5 chip, Apple is redefining what small desktops can do. This isn't just another Mac, it's a tiny giant, ready to power a new generation of creators, learners, workers, and dreamers. And the best part, it fits in the palm of your hand.